hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss one of the issue that is beating the head of every developer so that is course issue so course is simply like cross origin resource sharing okay so uh, for an example what i need to show here is uh, i have created one app using react js okay so i'm creating simple form uh, that actually takes the data from the api okay and then it binds to this react js form and then it should show me but it is not showing me the data is not getting displayed here okay so I have created one API, okay? This API, what simply it does is, it takes the data from the database related to the employee and it display me, okay? The same data I'm going to consume in the React.js application, but that is not happening. So let's see what is the result it is returning here in the API. Okay, so if you see, it is returning me all the results in the JSON format, uh, employee ID, employee name, city, salary, and date of joining, okay? Now I'm not getting this data here in this form, okay? So uh, if you say this, uh, this is the code which I have written, okay? So if you see, I'm using this URL of the API to consume the data, binding the response to the employee, and then using this employee uh, features, like all the employee components, not components, all the employee columns, you can see, employee ID, name, city, and salary, and try to get that in this form, but it's not happening. So let's inspect and see what is the issue it is throwing, okay? So uh, let me just uh, rephrase it so that you can see the issue. So it has it is it is hitting this api endpoint perfectly that is fine but somehow i'm not able to like get the res, uh, response because if you see it is uh, uh, returning this error message access to fetch at this one so this is my api endpoint okay i'm trying to fetch api endpoint from this one this url is your uh, browser url for the react app okay this has been blocked by the course policy no access control allow origin header is present on the request resource okay so you might have faced this issue multiple times. You might have uh, like gone mad with the internet solution. Still, you are not able to solve this issue. Okay, so I have found some solution. Okay, uh, that that is of just two lines. So what you need to do here is uh, you need to cut this URL until API. Okay, so basically you are taking the URL of that URL of the browser of that API where your API is hosted. Okay. So what we can do here is we can go to the packet.json file, okay, by taking this uh, particular URL and then we can create a proxy. So let's create one proxy here and give that URL here, okay, whatever we have taken back from the uh, JS file, okay, uh, we, we can make one uh, backslash there, okay, so that is fine. Now make sure you are saving both the files package.json file as well as employee component file okay once you save it and try to reload it it should give you the data okay so i have reloaded it so it has hit the api and let's see what is the response we are getting now so if you see we are getting that data here okay uh let's let's i mean these things are showing from the previous run okay so let's uh remove everything let's remove everything and let's try to refresh it okay so that we can see what is the URL it, it is hitting and like what we are getting, okay? So I'm trying to refresh it. So it is going to hit the API again, okay? So let's refresh it. It has hit the API, okay? We are going to get the data again. So let's go to the network and see. Uh, we are successfully able to hit the API. See the request URL, right? And in the response, we are getting the response data in form of JSON. So same data we are binding here in the React js component okay so there is no blocked request you can see and in the console also all those cause policy error has been gone so this is how within two steps we can solve this issue okay so if you are like facing some issue then follow this and you'll be able to successfully resolve it so uh thank you guys for watching if you love this content then do subscribe the channel and